The following WSKG art segment was produced in conjunction with Ithaca College. I've been doing artwork for almost 40 years now. My whole career has been uh, um, guided and informed by meditation, which is a very inward and receptive act. But I had made a kind of a commitment not to do meditation as a fad. Yeah, I, I grew up in uh, lower Hudson River Valley, um, near, near Croton on the east side. I feel very connected with nature and animals. I, I feel very connected to the earth, and um, I think that informs a lot of my work too. I was 44 when I got married uh, and had not been married before. I, I lived alone for about 12 years in a very poor little house where I worked on sculpture <laughs> out in the country west of Ithaca. And um, so I had, uh, my studio spaces were all, all very modest. When I got married and my wife and I um, both sold the places we had been living in, when we moved here, um, I built the studio trying to meet requirements that I hadn't been able to meet for 20 years of doing the work. Over a three year period, I built this large building by myself. There was, I had a little bit of help uh, laying the block, but yeah, it took three years to build it. I knew a long time, for a long time, that he uh, was an artist because I, um, I'm a good friends and former colleague of uh, his wife, and I sort of knew about the studio in the, in, in the back. And um, so I think it was just one day when he had a, um, um, an open house and I thought I would just go in systematically look at his work and so I went into the left hand of the of the uh, studio the left hand side of the sculptures and it came into that and I started absorbing the sculptures and I was completely overwhelmed after about a half an hour and I think what really did it was the uh, the uh, St. Francis shrine. I mean they're definitely the two pieces of art we have that sort of kind of like anchor everything else. Yeah. Everything else kind of has to be, you know, we pick something and all of a sudden it's like, oh, well, this goes, this will go on this wall because it matches the flow of this painting. You know? But yeah, his two pieces of work in art were, like I said, kind of the basis for what we have on our walls. I'm still not primarily motivated by, by money or sales, though I sell my work. But my motivation isn't that. My motivation is sharing what uh, comes through me. It feels like it's a gift, and my job is to is to pass it on. If you know of an individual or group who should be profiled on a WSKG art segment, please send an email to wskgart at wskg.org.